All right, so this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Moon, and as well rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading February 24th to uh, March 1st, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. So that being said, moving to the spread straight away. Now, the first card, which stands as the topic of your uh, week, Aquarius, is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. And the next one, which uh, represents the energies feeding and supporting the topic, that is to be the World card. Afterwards, we do have the challenges that you have to stand against. And in this case, definitely overcome. That is to be the Emperor. Afterwards, we do have, wow, the gifts and the blessings that Taro, uh, that Taro says that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the uh, Ace of Pentacles. Afterwards, we do have uh, how people are going to take on you, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. That is to be the Eight, uh, the Seven of Cups. And the last one here, which is the guidance that Taro is offering, we have the Nine of Swords. Oh my God. God. So, um, I can just tell you the reading in one sentence, okay? But let's make it fun and go through the cards one uh, by one. So, first two, we do have the energies and the topic. Uh, energies, uh, the world card, the topic, Eight of Pentacles. So, these energies are uh, going to put a closure into your things throughout this week. Basically, those energies are going to make you to go through a peak of experience, meaning closure into one thing, one stage of one's life, and moving into the next one, okay? This isn't about a new beginning, guys, not with the Eight of Pentacles here. This is a, about jumping into the next level and uh, opening a new chapter into one's life, into one's, into one's relationship, into one's career, into one's friendship. It does depend where this takes place. But what those two cards generally point, it is that a stage, an important stage of an, an enterprise endeavor, or in generally, you know, a, a field of your life is coming to its successful, and I mean successful ending. And now the next stage of it can start. That being said, those two cards here are pointing that this week you are going to initiate a manifestation of yours that took a long time to be either planned or developed. Okay, And just to give you a few examples here, so I can make my point across a bit more clearer, because for example, if there are single people, they will say, wait a minute, how this applies to me and my love life. Well, this is how it applies. You have been single for quite a while, right? And you have probably dreamt of finding someone around, right? And this is the ending, the successful ending of your stage planning to meet, to meet and find someone around. And you jump into the next level here, going out and actually finding that person. But again, these cards require action okay you have to jump into the next stage into the next level because sitting on your couch all day long in your house no one is going to come and knock on your door that is an, an example in case you are completely single and this is how those cards applies to you so you gotta go out and start dating people um and you have to do those actions regardless if it is dating people regardless if it is about a new project or, or a uh, next stage of a project excuse me this isn't about new project but a next step of a project because these cards could say that you have planned a big project into your private business to take place or something was cooking into your career and now finally this week it is the week where you start manifesting it. Those things, those actions into manifesting those plans, into manifesting these things that took so much time to prepare, they need to be approached with a huge portion of conscientiousness here, okay? You can't simply be in, uh, irresponsible there. And when you do something, you really need to mean it with, uh, with those two cards. This is the only way how the things are to develop the way you want them to develop, the way that they are going to be pleasant at the end and that they are going to be how can i say it um 
uh, if you will, lucrative or with a happy ending. You need to have that eye for the subtleties, for the minor details in there, okay, and attend to every single of those minor details. But nonetheless, it's a, a big week that will demand a lot of you, and I mean a, a really, really a lot. That can be seen here into the Emperor card, okay? which is the third one, and that will be the challenges that you will have to face and ultimately overcome. you got to overcome those challenges, Aquarius. Now, first of all, uh, this new stage that we're talking about that you're going to jump into, and I, like I'm saying, this isn't a new beginning. This is a new stage into a thing that you're trying to develop here, all right? So this new stage, it will um, kind of carry on or it will present you with a, a lot of responsibilities. As a matter of fact, with the Emperor, you can't afford to be carefree with it, okay? You have to take it with the full seriousness of that one person can attend to a certain, you know, certain enterprise. Additionally to that, um, Especially if those, uh, if this new stage, new chapter there uh, does involve other people around, it will be rather tough for you to show yourself rather reliable. Now, if we're talking about career, for example, you get to be included in that major big project that kind of gives you the prerequisites to um, a, kind of scribe into your uh, portfolio or into your CV that you have worked upon it and it's going to open you so much door moving doors moving forward into the future you are to be faced with skepticism there all right people will not going to be exactly thrilled of finding you there because you have still yet to prove yourself and uh, that will be a tough challenge for you i mean you have to put not just all your 100 percent dedication in it but 190 percent dedication into this you got to keep everything under control everything into your eyesight okay you can't allow any single detail once again to slip through and to be left unattended and you have to be very good at managing your time as well which responsibility, what kind of portion of your time is going to take, either into your newly formed relationship, if you are in a stage of dating, I'm now jumping into a stage of relationship, if you have been in a stage of relationship, jumping in a stage of engagement, definitely the responsibilities are going to grow from there, you can't be uh, the same person around with your partner living uh, not together but in a different places and just seeing each other every couple of days a week that that can't be anymore i mean you have to be together all day long and that brings its own responsibilities so um for some of you aquarius this week it is to be a week where you're gonna get what you want just so you can see that it is quite tough to maintain but that doesn't mean that you can't maintain it it is just it will require a lot of devotion and dedication as well time management and also uh, how can i say managing the, uh, the 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 resources as well extreme it is not good into that uh, situation what i mean going into extreme in either of the directions um into this uh, into this enterprise like for example you know extreme going extreme in work and not paying attention to your private life and vice versa you have to manage your time accordingly next one it is uh, the uh, gifts and the blessings here that is to be the ace of pentacles uh, not much to be said about this one in this um, in that position it's pretty obvious the ace of pentacles here shows the gifts and the blessings of a rare opportunity for you to further your goal to establish successful business ventures and to establish as well harmoniously flowing relationships it is all that it says here and you are gifted with that opportunity what you're gonna get what you're gonna do with it like said are you gonna go out and date with people are you gonna take the initiative into this new project for example or new promotion or are you gonna sit in your couch at home that depends on you. Obviously, if you sit at your couch, nothing is going to be capitalized on, so nothing is going to happen. Next one, it is uh, how people are going to look at you, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. That is the Seven of Cups. Uh, and so, as I said, a bit skepticism. Now, they're not going to be biased that you are not uh, fit for the situation, okay? But still, they are going to have like... Um, 
are negative expectations on the back of their head. Uh, and uh, for that reason, you can expect, how can I say it, not that much of seriousness from those people around, for example, your colleagues, your new colleagues, that is, or um, from the family of your um, of your fiance, new fiance, or, or of your family of your new husband, for example, okay? So, like I said, people are going to face you with a bit of skepticism, but they are going to give you the... Um, how do you say it in English, the benefit of the doubt that you can eventually do it. Now, with the Seven of Cups as well, um, you are not going to face that kind of a behavior where you are not approached with the uh, intention to help. So, for example, if that's about a, this big project, if you don't know how to do something, you most likely are going to be approached by someone who knows and is going to show you how. Um, and it's very important that you got to listen in. So don't take the initiative here. It's not going to make a good impression. OK, the initiative in a sense of the, the initiative in things that you don't know, that you have no clue how to perform into. And that brings us to the other topic, which is if you don't know how your partner is going to react of something you want to do, just say about it, just ask about, ask about it, or right? I just express your, your opinion. Because the seven of, pen, the seven of uh, cups, it's very important that the person that is under its influence is grounded. You need to show, okay, that if you don't know how to do it, you pretty much is going to absorb the knowledge or the skills if someone shows you that. If you try to be almighty, you're going to lose people's trust and sense of reliability very, very quickly. And the final one here, it is uh, the guidance that Taro is offering. That is uh, the Nine of Swords. So it's going to be terrifying. I mean, with the Nine of Swords, uh, you are going to see like, how can I say it? A big risk, big reward, all right? In the sense of that if you mess something around, you are missing a golden opportunity. But if you make it through, you are going to be on an exponentially better uh, position moving forward into the future. So this particular standpoint, it will kind of like petrify some of you because you will not want to miss the opportunity, but in the same time, not doing anything will most definitely going to make you miss it. And at that point, you would not know what to do and etc. etc. So guidance wise, the nine of swords here points that you got to stand against your fears. OK, whatever you are afraid to do, if you have no clue how to do it, once again, ask about it because in an advice or a, uh, a trail will be given to you uh, uh, and you're going to learn. And uh, the other thing that the Nine of Swords here points to your queries, it is that you have to be fully aware of what is in, what is at stake here. You have to approach this new chapter of your life once again with the full seriousness that one is uh, capable of do so, because otherwise, uh, otherwise, otherwise around or other way around, it is just going to repose those who are giving that opportunity to you. So that being said, this was your weekly general tarot reading, February 24th to March 1st, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such. Hopefully we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.